Good evening. Thank you for joining us for tonight's annual Crystal Ball. My name is Candace Toiber, and I'm the chair of Hunterdon Healthcare's Foundation Board of Trustees. As you know, Hunterdon Healthcare's mission has always been to provide the highest quality, most compassionate medical care to our community. And it's with those intentions that the residents of Hunterdon County came together and raised $1.2 million to build the first building and open our doors 65 years ago. We continue to fulfill that mission every day thanks to the members of our community who give so much of their time, talent, and treasure, assuring that Hunterdon Healthcare remains a strong and viable healthcare leader for generations to come. And tonight's crystal ball is a testament to that spirit. For over the last 18 years, our Spirit of Hunterdon Award has recognized some of the individuals and organizations that have made a significant impact on the success of Hunterdon Healthcare and health improvement in our region. As we look back on the list of recipients, we began to realize that these individuals fell into three categories, corporation, community leaders, and philanthropists. Moving forward, the Foundation's Board of Trustees felt that it was important to recognize these categories annually. And so today, on behalf of Hunterdon Healthcare's Foundation Board of Trustees, I'm proud to announce our newest Spirit of Hunterdon Awards, the Corporate Spirit Award, the Community Spirit Award, and the Philanthropic Spirit Award. I'd like to say that we labored for hours over who would be our 2019 honorees, but our recipients rose immediately to the top of our list. Our Corporate Spirit honoree has helped drive economic growth and prosperity within our local community. Our Community Spirit Honoree has impacted countless lives by planting, picking, rescuing, and delivering fresh free produce for those in need. And our Philanthropic Spirit Honoree has taken personal tragedy and turned it into one of the most successful fundraising events in our region. We're blessed to receive the support of these incredible leaders, and it is my great honor to introduce them to you tonight. Tonight we recognize Unity Bank for its corporate spirit. Unity Bank was founded in 1991 as first community bank with two branches. In 1998, Unity Bank Corp began trading on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange and is the only bank headquartered in Hunterdon County. Today it has grown into 19 branches operating in seven counties. Unity and its more than 200 employees believe in the communities they serve. They have facilitated the creation of thousands of jobs through the businesses they have financed. They have helped thousands of local entrepreneurs start Main Street businesses and thousands of homeowners fulfill their dream of providing a home for their family. They have also donated millions to nonprofits and partnered with them to strengthen and build. Employees make monthly visits to America's Grow Row and Center for Hope to volunteer. Unity Bank has also been a tremendous supporter of Hunter and Healthcare as a corporate donor since 1991. They have made annual donations and sponsored many health programs, including investing in the healthcare needs of the community and projects such as the Norman and Denise Guillou Cardiovascular Center. Financial and mental physical fitness all go hand in hand and providing opportunities for complete wellness are very important. We thank Unity Bank for partnering with us to improve the quality of life of all residents in our service area. Good evening everyone. I hope you're all enjoying this wonderful evening. Again, my name is Jim Hughes, the President and CEO of Unity Bank. I want to take this opportunity to thank Hunterdon Healthcare for recognizing Unity Bank as one of its honorees this evening. At Unity Bank, we conduct our business on four basic principles. One, treating all of our employees with dignity and respect. Two, providing the highest level of service for our customers. Three, maintaining our financial stability. And four, always doing the right thing. It's not only the right thing to do, but it's also good business. We value our partnership with Hunter and Healthcare, the hospital, and we will continue to support their role in providing an exceptional service to our community. Thank you once again for participating this evening. Have a nice night. Tonight we recognize America's Grow Row for its community spirit. America's Grow Row, located in Pittstown, New Jersey, has a mission to positively impact as many lives as possible through a volunteer effort of planting, picking, rescuing, and delivering fresh, free produce. This program started in 2002 with a small plot and a single volunteer, Chip Palix. After seeing a plea from the Flemington Food Pantry requesting that any gardeners donate extra produce, Chip and his daughter, Kira, 
who was four years old at the time, cultivated their own garden and donated 120 pounds of produce that year. From these humble beginnings, it has grown into a major farming operation and nonprofit organization housed on 330 acres that has donated over 10 million pounds of produce through the active participation of approximately 9,000 volunteers per year. From its farm in Pittstown, America's Grow Row is proud to provide 1.5 million pounds of fresh, healthy produce annually to those in need, educate people of all generations about hunger and ways to help, introduce our youth to farming and healthy eating, cultivate in tomorrow's leaders the habit of giving back, and contribute to the sustainability of agriculture. In addition to tonight's recognition, Chip Palix and the organization have received numerous accolades. In fact, in 2014, Chip was named a CNN hero. Most recently, America's Grow Row has collaborated with Hunterdon Healthcare Center for Nutrition and Diabetes Management to deliver produce weekly at no cost to patients with diabetes who do not have access to healthy, fresh food. In doing so, Hunterdon Healthcare and America's Grow Row are able to support the successful outcome of our patients with diabetes in the community. We are grateful to America's Grow Row for their dedication and partnership to helping those most in need in our region. On behalf of the entire America's Grow Row board, staff, volunteers, and supporters, thank you for this honor and for recognizing us with the Community Spirit Award. I'm often asked if America's Grow Row is the solution to hunger and food insecurity, but we are part of the solution, and we're part of the solution with great partners such as the Hunter and Healthcare Center for Nutrition and Diabetes Management in conjunction with our 9,000 volunteers a year who allow us to be able to harvest over 1.5 million pounds a year annually. We can only make this work because of great folks in the community and that's why this recognition is so important to us. Partnering with Hunter and Healthcare, the heart of Hunter and is what makes this program work each and every day. Again, thank you for your support and for this recognition. The philanthropic spirit honoree this year is Katie Benson. Having heard her story tonight, Katie needs no introduction. Her commitment to her husband Jack and the battle against cancer has truly made her a force of nature. Derby Day, as it's known, is an annual horse show hosted each year in July. Dozens of riders, sponsored by family and friends, come together to compete in an incredible honor to Jack, their sport, and the Hunterdon Regional Cancer Center. As Katie would tell you herself, she showed up to Hunterdon Healthcare's foundation some 10 years ago with a dream and a pretzel barrel filled with money following the first event. That ended up being Derby Day's first donation to Hunterdon Healthcare. Now, nine years later, Derby Day has raised nearly $300,000 in support of the Cancer Center. These gifts have helped countless financially vulnerable patients receive the critical care they desperately need. The same great care her husband and her father before him received. When Jack married Katie, he married his angel. And today, she carries his legacy on. We're proud to count Katie, her family, and the equestrian community as our supporters. I would like to thank the Foundation and the Board of Trustees for choosing me to be here tonight, honored in such a special way. I'm so proud to be chosen to receive an award, which in my heart actually doubles back on itself. Tonight brings to mind my late husband, Jack, who'd bring a laugh to a handshake and say, thank you. No, no, thank you. Our Derby Day Horse Show itself, since its start, has always been about generosity. When I first came to my family friend, Bruce Adam, with the concept of running a horse show and making a contribution to the hospital, I certainly did not have a vision as to the spirit it would inspire 10 years later. It's a day of equestrian sport, but it has become all about giving. Derby Day encourages generosity on so many levels. We get together to spend a day with each other, doing what we love but it comes back to sharing of ourselves, thinking of those in need, supporting those who fight the fight against cancer. So to bring it back to Jack's style, I'd like to say thank you to my incredible event committee, my friends, my family, to the Cancer Center, to the trustees, and to the foundation. Have a great night.